right? So Israel has admitted to killing seven World Central Kitchen workers that were trying to deliver aid to Gaza. It should be no surprise to anybody that this happened. Israel says that it was a mistake. I don't think anybody really believes it was a mistake. Israel has been trying to stop aid getting to Gaza for a very long time. They blocked the trucks and now they drone strike people delivering aid. It's not too different how they drone strike these civilians. I made a video about this earlier. And this is part of Israel's Tahiyya doctrine. And what that is, it's targeting civilian infrastructure, which results in civilians being killed in a disproportionate amount of force to try to break the will of the people that they're attacking. It's in a collective punishment against the civilian population for what Israel says, allowing these militants to attack Israel. Now, that's the bin Laden philosophy. That whole thing was that bin Laden wanted to kill American citizens for what the United States government was involved in. Israel's doing the same thing. Israel's been doing this a lot longer since before 9-11. Now it's making me wonder, who did bin Laden get this idea from? All right, but moving on. Now, the way that Western countries typically deal with counterinsurgencies is you try to win the hearts and the minds of the civilian population. Israel doesn't try to do that. They just want to kill the entire civilian population. Now, I know what people say, oh, well, if Israel wanted to kill the entire population, they would have by now. Yes, Israel has the capabilities to do that, but they also don't have a death wish for themselves because they know if they kill the entire population of Gaza and the West Bank, they will be condemned by the entire world and Israel would cease to exist. So they're doing it slowly over a number of years. And it's been 75 years that they've been at it for right now. But this is what they do. This is in their doctrine. This is from their own military generals. This is what they do. They target civilian infrastructure and civilians, try to break the will of the civilian population to get them to turn against the militants or their government. But what it does is it actually turns the civilian population against Israel even more. They've tried this in Lebanon. And since that time, they've gone to war with Hezbollah twice. And now they're on the verge of a third time as Israel is hitting civilian infrastructure and civilians in Lebanon and in Syria. So what happens is when the West labels certain organizations as terror organizations, what that allows the United States and Israel to do is to bomb these countries indiscriminately because they're going after terrorists is what they say. That's a cop out. You want to bomb a country, then declare war. Declare war on the country if you're going to bomb a country. I said that for the United States too. Sticking that we could just go and bomb these countries, hit civilian targets just because we want to or just because we say that there's terrorists in certain places. The whole George Bush era way of thinking, the war on terror, which is based off of lies anyway, has not worked. It did not work for the United States. It's not going to work out for Israel. You know, they're bombing countries that don't necessarily have the same backing or the same power as them. Israel is not going to bomb Russia. They're not going to bomb China. Now, they're going to bomb Yemen, the poorest country in the world. They're going to bomb Syria, who's been dealing with the civil war, whose president of the United States tried to take out multiple times. But it is what it is. Remember, keep your mind sharp. Don't listen to mainstream media. This flips script out.